and welcome to Ryan's Settlement, where I'm going to show you step by step by step how to create a great settlement like I did right here, which is a really nice place, but a really, 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 really rainy area. This is stupid. Right, anyway, we're going to show you step by step. Step number one, the land. Look at the dirt. Look at the sand. Look at that guy. Man, he looks beautiful. So does the land. The land looks like a beautiful state. But what is the importance to land? As people ask me sometimes. Well, land is a good thing. Land is good for building buildings on top of things. Land. Land is a good priority of beauty. Also, it's also good for farmland. That's up there, which we will get later to the video. Also, trees. Trees are good for building the buildings, which provides us shelter and the water. Gives us good transportation and trading. And also, under the land will be riches that we will teach you later. The economy. Land is such a good, wonderful thing. But does land really, does land really do any of that? Oh, duh. It's right there in front of your face. Stupid. But another thing will be is that land becomes beauty, beauty. It's like Beauty and the Beast. I'm the beast, I build on top of you. But beauty attracts people. Land is also another way to attract people. As in, they want to restart their entire lives to build in front of your city. But what really attracts the people is the wealth. Which is pretty good. Step 2. The government. Now you people are wondering why why is such a good place to lead this area. Well, our government is run by me. Our government's a dictatorship. Yes, ship. A dictatorship. I run this world, I run this city, and I run everything. This is my office. I slip through here and just look at look at every moron that complains about me. Even though I usually just kill him because no one understands who he is and our nothing and he's usually the idiot. But what really what why is that even important to just me the rule of this area with a dictatorship? Well I'll, I'll explain that to you. A dictatorship is for people that blind. A government that's blind. I rule this land. If people are for like I hang on. I'm trying to figure out how to explain this. Give me a second. Okay. I found out how to do it. Well, the only way you can do this is by people that are blind. They don't know what to do. They don't know, really know what to do. They don't know what to do. Well, because they don't know what to do. Do they know where the place itself? Do they know how to grow crops? Do they know how to protect themselves? Well, there comes me. I will lead them the way of planting their crops, protecting their cities, building their houses the correct way, and mining stuff. That's the important part of a dictatorship because if the people are blind and they don't know what to do, maybe they're perfect by leading people, which is when people want to look for a great leader, I will be there, and that's what will attract people as well. Step three, farming. Is farming a good thing? <laughs> yeah. Where the hell are you gonna get your food? Farming is an amazing thing. It gives you bread. Bread is a good thing. We also what else things do we grow? Well, like Jamestown, they grew they found out they can grow tobacco. And that's what they lived on was tobacco, and they sold that, which leads people to their zone. Me, I used it for food, which I don't even use tobacco. I really grow wheat, corn, bread like I grow bread <laughs> that's hilarious I really grow wheat potatoes carrots why not those well people wondered why I even grow these things it's because Jamestown has something I wanted to avoid I wanted to avoid something called the starving times who wants to starve to death in this land <laughs> not me but why is that a thing well, people wonder something. I have something called the full time. Man, they are full up on carrots, bread, and potatoes. Man, those potatoes are delicious. Potatoes. Oh, potatoes. The funny part is this is all wheat. Where's my potatoes? 
Yeah, I'm talking to you. You're the brown f freak. Whatever. But potatoes and everyone is full. And they live happy ever after. But that... Is this food really enough for all these people? Is it really enough? Well, let me show you how I can do this. As I continue on with something that becomes really good and is, is in this element. is contact. Step number four. Having allies and trading goods, which is the economy. We have an economies area. We have, so, to store our economy, we have a town mine. Our town mine is a great responsibility, as in, we have some f it stole their riches. Well, apparently some morons stole their riches, or are my people are becoming lazy and they don't want, really want to work in this mine. I wonder why. Let me go in here and check. Man, it's awfully dark down here. And you know what? I'm going to reject that and not go down there and pretend I never saw that chest. But what is the example of what's good for trading? Well, I'm going to show you what's good for trading. What's good for trading? Well, what about riches? People look for jewelry, which is diamonds. Diamonds are actually pretty good for, well, many things. Emeralds. That's good for shiny things. People are like, oh, shiny things. I'll pay 50 bucks for that. Oh, that's pretty good. But what's important is the coal. Coal can cook your food. And also... It would bring up the light to your torches and stuff. Then you're trying to light up the area. It's pretty good for smokes, signals, and other resources. Which I don't know any other use than that. Maybe the people will know later. Gunpowder. Gunpowder is good for protection. I don't know how we found that in the mine, but we found it. We we cooked it. With the coal. See, that's another thing what coal can be used for. Is cooking the gunpowder and stuff. Okay, I'm not really sure that's how you make gunpowder, but that's how you make gunpowder, I guess. But it's good for protection. Oh, man, it's protection. <sighs> man, we like to shoot people in the face sometimes. Iron is good for that, too. We build our armor. We make our guns out of it, which that's what good to use for gunpowder and iron to be used for. But also gold is good for coins, as is money, trading, and all sorts of stuff. But people wonder, what is the use for those? Well, we have allies. We are the Red Flag Union. And man, we are a bad A. But, where's our allies? Well, you're looking at it. <laughs> Hilarious. They're over there. They call themselves the Green Union. Which is, they're like people that have been here for a long time. But they wanted peace in the first stop. So I said, oh, why not? I need an ally anyway. Let's hope I didn't want to get shot at the first point of the journey of me building this place. <laughs> Funny. But I'm also going to trade with them with these riches. This stuff. It's amazing. These riches are amazing. I'm going to put this in the training routes, which is our railroad. Now, you're probably wondering, how's a railroad even exist at this timeline? Well, joke's on you. I made it, and God told me, ha, see ya. But sooner or later, those people will bring back our stuff. And they will bring us... Food, because it's a big economy. We gotta have a lot of food. It's a lot of food. But, what else is new? Well, this is an economy. We need food. That's what we trade for. Food. I know I just said that. No one saw anything. And, sorry my friend, let me, let me explain, let me have a few more moments of thinking again. Now we're back. Now, I found a way to explain it. That took me like an, it took me almost three hours. Yeah, that was a long time. A good thing about training, trading my goods with those people. Well, they needed the economy. They needed something that draws them to us. We had what draws them. We gave them money, jewelry, and cha-ching to draw more people to their place. As in, we needed more food, because I already had more people. They were giving me more food, as I give them jewelry to give stuff. Now, another thing. Religion. Uh, step number whatever. I already lost count. Religion is a good thing. A good people. 
something that people need to look forward to. I wanted to give people God. Now they're probably wondering, oh, this man is not going to lead us that much. Well, my God. Well, shh, joke's on you. I am God. Suck it. But God, I believe in God. God gave me this ability to rule this land with my heart and dreams. And I pray to God with all my hope and dreams. Why do I keep saying dreams? Because God told me to. God prays to me. I pray to him too. And God gives me a good life. Like I do. But it's getting nighttime and it's getting really, really late. But God, I pray to you. Why won't you give me light? Give me light, my great God. I pray to you. <laughs> he gave me good lights in my dreams. See, this is a good thing about religion. You can actually just pray to God and just give you light. As he once said in the Bible, let us be late and stuff. I forgot the other part. But another thing. Step number whatever. I think we're on seven. I'll think about that. I, I, can, I think you need, you think you're safe. You have allies and you have your food. You have your, your people, you have your houses, you have your guns and your gunpowder. But are you really safe? That again. What was that? That. What just happened? Mother of God. Now another thing about I was going with that is that we have enemies as well. Watch your back, because anyone can just bite you in the butt, and they will hurt you. But it looks like the blue region has taken over. They're attacking us, as I will attack them as back. We have enemies. That's the same thing as another thing. We have the blue region. We don't like them. Blue region's going down. See them? They're over there. Curse you, Blue Region! Suck it! Oh, they're talking back now. Well, suck this! Gunpowder late! Fire the cannons! Fire the cannons! God dang it. I said fire the cannons. Mother of God. They have taken over us. I'll do this myself. thing to your settlement. Protection. You have to outsmart your enemies with the iron fist. Would that actually be an iron fist? Well, well, I don't really know there's an iron fist there. But that's how you create a settlement. Your religion, your government, your trading, your people, allies, and farmland, and the land, and the houses. But what really draws them is the leadership of a great city. A leadership of good pride. It came me. Who does not want to come to Ryan Thomas? Come to my land. I dare you. It's not going to be fun. I know it isn't. But it's a good land. To come towards me. With great pride. And they will come. Oh man they will come. And we will become the ultimate town. Of all times. Now there's one thing though. Have I even named this town? <laughs> no. <laughs> Who names this town? Well, I'm going to let someone else decide that. And that's going to be a fun day. Thank you for watching. And I am Ryan Thomas Elements. And now step by step of how to create a settlement. By the way. I don't know what I was supposed to do after that. Huh, <laughs> lol. Anyway, that's how you do it. The Kraya Settlement, step by step, government, religion, and economy, allies, and defense, farmland, and the land itself. And remember, the more people that come, man, you better cut down those damn trees. Thank you for watching.